Hi, welcome to Juguetes en Caliente. This is Raul and Alan, and today we're talking about Chrome Mando Deluxe version. Here we have him, guys. Mandalorian and Grogu Deluxe version, the Chrome version. <sighs> Can't wait for this Beskar boy. TMS052. And here we have him with all his accessories that come. We have a nice portrait of the man himself, the star, the legend, the last of us that starts tonight, Pedro Pascal. Can't take wait. a look at the cigar van on the left. You can kind of see it there. Nice little pose. Let's see if I could do a little there. All There's right. a little glare from the light, but I know, right? Let me see. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. The best man in the in the business. And on the side, no artwork. Nothing there. Cigar band. Okay. You got your warnings. And we have a little Disney sticker. Look at that. What is that? Huh. First time I've seen that. Hmm. And then License. warning signs and who did it. Let's take this little cover off and get into the goods. Bam. Ah. From that scene where I think he's finally uh, done talking to, what's his name? The guy with uh, the... Uh, Quill. Uh, and... Quill. Oh, no, not Quill. Quill. <laughs> not Quill. <laughs> Quill. Um... <laughs> What's his name? Um... Va Vince? Vaughn? Oh, uh, yeah, no, not Captain Vaughn. No, dang it. Something Vaughn, right? We're, you're close. Something like that. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But anyways, it's from that scene. I'll remember it right now. He gets all of the accessories or the, the suit for Boba Fett. You got a little Grogu on the satchel. We got a nice suit bike handlebar there with all the goods. We got his his new chromed out jetpack. And it's a good picture. And honestly, it looks like it's a picture of a real human being, but it's just a figure. So quite yeah, excited. it does. It's probably oh, one yeah. of the most realistic pictures, actually, that I've noticed, like that Hot Toys has made. Really realistic, yeah. I honestly thought it was from the show, but here it is, man. And being the deluxe, this is going to have quite good stuff in it. And as you can see There's from all so the shelves, much. we're going to be here for a minute, but <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Yeah. Let's get to it. All right, guys, here we have him with the deluxe accessories out first, so we can go look, take a look at them. And obviously the stand, which I never use. And you're going to see it's going to be your traditional Mandalorian stand here with the soft sand and the imprinted fee that everybody hates. But honestly, I don't mind because I don't use them. You got there the plaque, the Mandalorian Star Wars, very traditional style. Nothing new to me, so I don't really care. Don't care about the crotch grabber. But these things are what we're going to be obviously dwelling into, right? Diving into the jetpack here. <sighs> What can I say, man? Yeah. Hot Toys knows how to paint things really well. And this is the uh, Boba armor after it's been spit out, right? An acid wash. Exactly. So this is the way the character that we can't remember finds it. Gotcha. And as you can see, he doesn't have anything to put here, like that missile. But, I mean, I understandably, right? Nice little weathering in here with the green silver plates. You get... Uh, I think these might be they don't they don't move, so don't force them. Okay. They might move. Oh yeah, they do. Oh if nice. I break it, I break it. But there's no fire um what do you call them accessories for these. So right. we're not really gonna dive into that. These are kind of foamy insides, but the the canvas y, as you can tell, is nicely weathered. You got nice little dirt pattern, and they did a cool little bowl here. Nice little what's the, the, back. the the wrapping part is that just like a ribbon or what is it what this the, is a ribbon yeah it's a ribbon okay yes but it looks really cool man okay. i think the contrast between the light brown the weathering and the dark brown just looks really well nice also this one very similar just a larger foam inside very there's no weight to it at all but as you can see there's light yellows and dark grays and it's just it looks like someone peed on it. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> you know, Grogu, was, Grogu was being mischievous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someone's definitely. And for, I was looking back into the scenes, and he cuts a piece off of that 
big beast that they kill in the desert. Yeah, yeah. In Raiders, and there's a, like a piece of meat in. Here. Oh wait, don't I got him? This piece, right? Is the same yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Doesn't doesn't smell like anything, but look cool. But by, by the way, this was a gift from Alan, right? A Christmas gift. Hey, Christmas <laughs> gift. Uh, the website's called Heroes and Villains. If you have a question, and you yeah. might want to look at their stuff, they have really neat, neat things. This is a broken soup bike handle, and this though it looks like it's fabric, it's plastic molded. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, I could, I could actually tell right? now, but really good. Like, if you compare it, you can kind yeah. of see it, but barely. It's um, still shinier. That's, that's why. You got some good. nice little weatherings here, as you can see, with the blacks and spatters are gray. Soup bike handle has nice little rubbery grip with a red touch. You got the brake or the start, whatever, but really nice. Save the best for last myself is, is this Boba Fat cool helmet, man. Look at that. And you have one that's like this, right? You already have a Boba Fett helmet, but it's... I have a Boba Fett helmet from the, the repaint. The repaint one, yeah. That's I ordered... Helmet this one from toys wonderland back in july and it still has not been shipped <laughs> yeah let's not talk about that but anyways <laughs> the chipping on this paint is amazing it just makes me want to have that figure more now than ever and i think it's going to be the exact same helmet that comes with that figure so now i have two of them which is kind of neat but this one i think i'm going to put it as a keychain on my That'd be so yeah, sad. that dude. Oh my God, that's an expensive keychain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wayfinder does move, so be careful with that. Um, there you go. Nice. Does move, so you can see that there. But I doubt anybody's gonna put that rangefinder down, though. I mean, like displaying yeah. it like this. Yeah, there's no way. So sick. But it's really nicely netted. It feels like it, it ain't going anywhere. And you also have the details inside the helmet, like as it should, as Hot Toys should always do, because you're paying top dollar for these things. Yeah. But really, really, really cool. And I mean, it's a Boba Fett helmet that you pay you pay forty five dollars more for this. I think it's worth it, even if you're just gonna have it in the box. You never know; you might want to pose it with it once. Oh, 100 percent. But. Let's take a look at the accessories that the actual figure comes with, the uh, non-deluxe. I was going to add, too, that uh, I'm probably not going to get this as is. I'm, I I do want to get the Mando, but I don't think I'm going to get the deluxe. The reason for it from my end is, one, obviously, number one, to save money a little bit to put towards another figure. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hoping to crash at Allen's and look at his figures as they are. And two is that I almost felt like I would be forced to display it this way, like with the swoosh, you know what I'm saying? When yes, I uh, we're gonna do some posing, obviously, but I feel like at first I am gonna pose it like this, and then you're gonna take like, them off. Yeah, and then when Ahsoka comes, then we're. we're I see. Them. That makes sense. Yeah. Take this out of the plane, and let's take a look at what he actually comes with. Accessories part two. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have it, as you can see. This toy really does deliver with a price tag. The deluxe version comes out somewhere above 375 or 365. Let's take a look from top to bottom. We get the beautiful ah, the dark saber. Moff Gideon. You don't need, yeah, you don't need Moff. If if you don't have Moff and you don't want Moff, bam. Done, dude. Done deal. You can see it's very shiny. Like a little gloss there. Uh Perfect electric finish. I think it's really realistic. The hilt does separate from here because you get nice. another hilt topper here. Okay. But it's got a nice little D ring on the back and kind of like a black silver uh, detailing, but really, really cool. The Beskar spear that gets melted down to create Grogu's little uh, suit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is not chrome. It gives the illusion of chrome. I feel like it should have been chrome, but it looks really cool. And I think I'm definitely going to be displaying it with this on. 100%. You get some grooves here and here. I'm trying to bring this right here so you can kind of see the details. Nice. Really, really cool. And it's quite tall. It's probably as tall as a figure. 
Next, let me quick fix for him. Next, we have his blaster rifle that we got with the Dura Steel. It's the same one? one. It's very similar. It doesn't have as much blue weathering here. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. And it doesn't come with like the electric shock accessories. Okay. But it's probably the same mold. Nice wooden feature uh, here on the stock. I'm not sure if you can see it there. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I can tell it's brown. I can't see the wood feature. Let's portion. see if I can. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You got some nice touches of gold, nice. a little bit of rust, black, dark browns, copper. And you have the strap here that connects to his front part of the suit trigger. Really, really cool piece. But obviously, this gets blown up with his ship, which I forgot the name of right now. So... Season two, it's kind of halfway in there, and then it just unfortunately the cool blaster is gone. You get this little satchel that is made out of a nice cotton soft fabric. The Grogu Stretch satchel out to that length, really really cool, and it comes with a little foamy part where Grogu can kind of chill. Nice, okay. You kind of see that there, which yeah. I'll be using for sure. Because this is my first Grogu, man. And I'm so excited. Whistling Birds in action. Really cool. A little starts off super thick. And this obviously goes connected, as you can kind of tell yeah. right there. Uh, you got the little pointies right here. And, I mean, they're really cool. Maybe, maybe How do you feel about the smoke about. part? Does it look pretty real? It looks... A person? Plastic, personally, to me. Gotcha. Yeah. I think doing smoke is really difficult. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, it, it would need to look more of like a cotton type. Gotcha. But it's very difficult. But overall, it looks cool. It looks cool. And I forgot. This part also comes chromed. You see that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's That's nice. Really, it's right there. Yeah. Shiny. Whistling Shiny. birds in action. Super cool flame effect. I feel like. Hot Toys does an amazing job with these. Yeah, dude. Is this the off. same? You think it's the same flame effect from Django? Um, I would have to look. Probably. I don't yeah, see why okay. they wouldn't, you know, reuse. You get this little, I guess, whisk, like a, what do you call it? A hook? Yeah, the uh, grappling hook. Grappling hook. There you go. It's kind of hard to focus, obviously. Right there. That's a, uh, yeah. I think my uh, Bokatan comes with them. Really nice. I think it's metallic for sure. Yep. Yep. Um, would I be using it? I don't think so. Yep. Vibro blade time. I'm telling you, this toy just delivers all the goods, bro. Kind of pointy. Yep. Look at that. Nice. And I feel, and I think we got one with the heavy infantry, but. Okay. The shiv. You get three uh, pairs of fists. You get nice. left, right, uh, Holding fists, you get these are for the spears. Okay, so which you could use as fists, fists kind of not really. So they kind of open, yeah, and it's a nice detailing in the inside with the grooves. It's kind of dark though. There you go. Okay, yeah, we see it. Got that in there, and then we got two pair of fists. Finally, <laughs> two pair of fists. Wonderful, sweet, good. We got his uh, blaster, blaster rifle. Nice. Very cool details. Again, a wooden, what do you call that? Uh, the grip. Grip, cool. Got a couple of copper colors in the inside and the trigger below here as well. Really, really nicely weathered. It's got like a gear. It's got like a gear here. These are unique to him too, right? Oh, Both absolutely. The, the rifle and this, yeah, nice. Moving right along, we got another whistling bird action without it being deployed. Again, in chrome, beautiful chrome. Oh, I see. It's they're kind of coming out slightly. Yeah, you can see there. Lo looks like a pineapple or something like that, like a spear. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Again, oh, whatever. You get the top for the oh yeah dark saber. If you just want to have him holding it or carrying it on his belt. And another cool one that doesn't come with the Dura Steel is this little lamp. Oh, oh for goes, his helmet. 
for his helmet. It attaches to his helmet. Oh, sick. Okay. It's right there. It oh, like, the but it all, all chromed out. Nice. Really, really cool, man. What do you think so far? Dude, this is like an insane amount. This this feels like a DX figure. I don't know why they didn't name it DX because it has. It does. My yeah, back. I still, don't, I, I still will never understand what DX versus non DX implies. But... DX means uh, extra waiting time. That's all <laughs> it means. Honestly, like, oh, October? Yeah, right. More like May of next year. <laughs> That's all it means. I guess this is one of those um, detecting mechanisms. I see. Okay. So it does have like a nice little red light. Okay. simulating like an actual light so that's kind of cool and it when can goes hook coin finding out on the beach yeah there you go man it'll find her <laughs> and, and that that part can hook onto his uh you know oh, cool okay sweet got a nice copper color with some weathering and the back is just kind of weathered and black he's almost the batman of the star wars universe huh bro Get these guys it. they 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 went full on What'd you call him? Clint Eastwood. Oh, for sure. Things. Yeah, he's he's definitely like Western, but, space Western. Yeah, space Western for sure. Batman. But the Batman for sure, right? He's got all these things now. This is something that I think you put on his left arm so that the the actual Beskar um, spear goes into. So oh, like a quick. holster for his spear. I got it. Okay, there. Nice. Really cool, right? Like that's yeah. amazing. It just clips on, and it and it's, it ain't going nowhere. Nice, cool. And well, if you were worried, it's got a couple of uh, foamy parts in there. Oh, okay. So it'll protect scratches, damage the sphere. And obviously, we love the backpacks here. We love all the jetpacks. This one has a, f a a word or a name, something Falcon. I don't know. I, I know it has a specific name. But, oh, Millennium. <laughs> yeah. The Millennium. Uh, <laughs> uh, look at that shininess, dude. Yeah, dude. The chrome I'm surprised is... by the amount of weathering. Not sure why they added so much weather. It's a little weird. Do you feel like the, the color is more accurate uh, to the show? Like this chrome? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I think so. And if it's not, it looks so much better. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just uh, the shelf presses on this. I think it's going to be crazy. Gotcha. You get a little bit of the purple hue here at the bottom. But again, no fire effects. And you get a couple antennas here. You get no way to putting, like, a, I don't know. A missile, like a missile. I got you. Yep. But so it doesn't pop off, basically. No, it does not pop off. Got it. You get a couple of cool little designs in the bag, little edges and grills. Overall, super tight. Magnetic, which is always a plus. Thank you, Hot Toys. And I'm already tired of talking, and we're just getting started. <laughs> Let's take a look at the figure, the head sculpt, and my first girl who ever. Dude, you need to get this. I, I'm to. going to. I'm going to. All right. Let's whip them out. All right, guys. Just to start off with another accessory that is I'm super pleased to have in the collection. It's it's Grogu. Another great reason to get this figure. If you don't have a Grogu, it's it comes with it. So you can add another figure to your already growing and unable to fit collection. <laughs> But all jokes aside, the eyes on this little little creature are super glossy nicely detailed his well you were in the eye game role so his brown colors and all that good stuff he looks amazing man he's got a little bit of teeth in the mouth okay i don't know if you can see that not really kind of but yeah he's so got a bit of teeth. he's got his little feet <laughs> all molded and you can't yeah. really change the posture but The head, the head turns or no? I think it turns. The head bit. does turn. Okay, it does Just have a, tiny a, a swivel, so you can do a lot of like. That's enough, dude. Like I don't. Like, yeah, what are you like, gonna be doing? That's super cute. Yeah, I thought I had won the the cuteness award with my wicket, but this is this, this is adorable, man. 
You don't get any of the hairs on the top, so it's pretty bald. Okay. Nicely colored here, a little pink. This is pre, and his pre little hand here has got like a little claw in there. It's really cool. Nice. But super happy to have you finally, Grogu. You are probably one of the most influential characters in like yeah cinema and TV series ever. In a while, though. In a while. Yeah. That on the side here, and let's go. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Last of us. <clears throat> God. Dang, yeah. too good, bro. It does look a lot lighter on the picture. It's a little darker here in person, which is perfect because he's from Chile and he's not a white person. He's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. darker and his complexion does does represent that. You could also see the stubble or the you know the five o'clock shadow there. Can you feel it? No, there's a okay. little texture, very okay. little though, but it's mostly a paint, it's paint. application. Got it. Okay. The hair looks. I great. love the uh, the this helmet right off. Hell yeah, dude. That, that is so insane, good. bro. <laughs> yeah, like the, yeah. the fact that they went there and they were just like, "Oh, we're gonna leave three hairs yeah. sticking out." I was looking at. I don't know if it's a Mark Five. Yeah, the Mark Five Iron Man redo right now. That yeah. they just kind of. But the suit. They have the same hair, man. Oh, no way. You can kind of see it like they, they reuse the hair. And it looks really good on Pedro Pascal. Don't get me wrong. But no, I don't think it looks as good on Tony Stark. Okay, I haven't seen that one. I'll check it out just to see. I, I'm, I don't really follow the Marvel ones, but I'll look at it. This, the Pico de Gallo, the Gallo Hero. <laughs> the Gallo Hero look is fresh helmet. It, it looks really cool. He's got a little bit of a gap here between the hair and the head sculpt. I don't think you'll be able to see it because of the lighting but it's not okay, perfectly yeah, on bit. his face the look just basically the last scene right of the show when he's kind of saying goodbye to grogu and taking off his helmet so he can have a good look of grogu it's just great like this. just him just That's grogu holding his head doesn't he like joke. touch his face or something like <laughs> super cool i sick. will i be using it with the head sculpt no and we'll show you why yeah because i mean speechless Speechless. Yeah. I mean, I one, you shouldn't have helmet off. Like, no, nah. dog. What were you doing taking it off? That's yeah. you know to be continued. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in trouble for him. <laughs> but honestly, I opted for not getting the second version, the not chrome, because I got laid into the Hot Toys game and it was already out. And this was announced, and I know a lot of people got upset because this was right announced right after it came out. Sucks. I would be pissed too. Yeah. But honestly. Looking at this, it's hard to choose between the Dura Steel and this one, but they're both great pieces. Yeah, the, I really like the Dura Steel. I know I missed out already. Uh, I'm trying to yeah. get one Mando only, so I'm I have a hard choice ahead of me. I know you you know you have two already, so I'm trying to decide which one's the best one. You need both, man. I'll bring it out. I I'll can't bring. do both. I can't do both. I'm gonna do one. You need both. You need both. <laughs> Anyways, I after looking at the figure itself, and I'm not a Star Wars fanatic. I don't know the lore that well, yeah. but I thought Beskar was a very strong metal that did not scuff or get dirty. That's what I thought too. Scratch. And I still think, yeah, yeah. And from first sight, the figure is amazing, nine out of ten. But I do notice too much weathering on the edges of every single Beskar piece. I think I was going to ask because I was a little worried about that when I was looking at the reviews. Like, I feel like. We praise weathering so much that Hot Toys was like, everything is going to have weathering from now on. Yeah. And this one maybe shouldn't have. Like, it looks great. Like, look at that glare. It's amazing. But this part that's showing off right now does not yeah. have anything. And if I move it to the dark side right there, it starts yeah. losing that gloss. And you can see there, the lining here is full of, like, little dots and paint application. Yeah. Which looks cool. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like Beskar should be mint, you know? Yeah. yeah close same to here. I'm going to look at the show again. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm definitely going to watch the show again, and I'm going to check it out. But that might be my decision to go with the non-chrome. I don't know. <sighs> don't. No? Go chrome? Yeah. There's. I've been looking at Instagram, and there's a dude that edits, or what do you call it? He, does pictures? Toy photography? He does photography, but he did a video on him. Uh, side by side side by side and he also took out a lot of the details on this with like a cotton tip, Q -tip oh, okay. and, and you can do something with that 
Okay, gotcha. Good. Besides that little complaint, uh, I am in love with this piece. I can't wait to show it off in some good poses. But let's take a look at all of the pieces that it comes with. You obviously get your best car steel front plate here. You get the belts, very similar to the best car that I have. You get these movable little cylinder bullets. Cool. You get the little slot here that you can connect the blaster, which I'm not going to be using because he lost it. So I'm not using that. Got it. Uh, nice little weathered detailing here in this like lapel plastic. Really cool, yep. like yellow weathering. The belt, as you can probably tell there, has a nice little rust color maybe. Yep. I don't know if it comes off nicely. It does. Yep. This is molded. A lot of these are molded, but the belt itself is leather. You can put okay. in the extra, uh, what is it? detonator yep. in this little spot it obviously falls off all the time yep. the suit has a very dark gray look to it with a little bit of weathering looks a little old but also kind of new so not very detailed with the weathering which again goes against the best card like weather, <laughs> right. weather at all or weather at none but anyway yeah so it made more on. sense for the cloth to be weathered than the armor that's best card that doesn't yeah exactly. but yeah okay Makes no sense. And here the shins, the not shins, the the leg thingies. <laughs> this one's really cool, man. Like I get this one's really dirty, and I think it's part of like the IG eleven. I think it's part of something. No way. Oh, I didn't there's, know that. There's some lore there. It's part of one of the robots. I can't remember. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. And then you get the shin right here or whatever guard. Really cool again. Same color application. Chromie. Uh, a big difference here as well from the best guard one is you get this blue and a very separate shin guard looking Which that, application. That shin guard I just noticed looks like the short troopers. Yeah, guard. dude. Yeah. So he's, yeah. he's like you said, Batman. He just has everything for everywhere. <laughs> but he's being like collecting. Re dude, he's gonna he's recycle man. Recycle man. <laughs> <from> the... <laughs> <laughs> he is, dude. And then again the shin guards are also different so this one's probably from like a trooper and this one's like another trooper which is really cool it's got a little pouch here That's for like cool. you know amazing details amazing paint job taking a look at the back you get finally a nice cape with wire running on the sides nice. and on the bottom is and it for shiny those, the cape? it's very satiny it looks really good it's very similar to the previous uh best car one i'm uh, sorry the the Dura Steel one, it's a yep. gray color, very satiny. It's got a nice, it kind of grips to your fingertips a right. little bit. You can also see the little weather here, all the little holes, because he's been obviously doing crazy stunts. I know people in others have been asking why does it have holes. I guess it's just part of his costume. You know? I don't know. Uh, the back's also chromed. It's got a little butt cheeks area. It's kind of dented because, so so does, does Best Guard get dented i guess it does i don't know i mean he get... sits down a lot i'm assuming yeah maybe right <laughs> he does sit down a lot in the show uh this part is also very chrome this is where you kind of kind of tighten the sniper okay. rifle or okay. the blaster rifle and another chrome area here with a little bit of weathering again which i i'm intending to change again okay. this has a nice little texture weaving area yep. that is really nice little yellow touch there to the stitching which makes it look weathered but it's a gray suit looks kind of clean so i don't understand the weathering let's take a look at the back of the helmet nice little texture here with the vents cool side view here i mean come on yeah dude. Uh, mando's just one of my favorite characters obviously as you can tell i'm oozing with joy here you get Finally, I mean, I did get it with the best car, but it doesn't have the emblem, and this one does. Gotcha. With yep. Tour steel. Looks really, really cool. We're looking here at the arm. Again, perfect paint application. Comes with a pair of relaxed open hands. It looks really cool. You get the holster here. Oh, there goes the hand. <laughs> he lost the hand. You get the holster here. It comes with like a strap. It's not like a clip on or it's not a metallic, but really really cool a couple of more of the canisters here okay you can those also move. i'm assuming pop off or no they do yeah you can take them out yeah and in between those canisters there's a little clip down here okay where where you can kind of attach this thingy right here oh i see okay yeah which we'll do later yeah, point finder yeah whatever that is <laughs> these are plastic little flaps 
kind of okay. cool. And I mean, that's it, man. I mean, there's a lot of details to this figure that you can't really show until you have the figure. In your does hand. he have any uh, tread on the boots? Tread boots, I think it does. I remember. Oh, nice. Okay. Boom. Lucas Films 2022 Hot Toys. Uh, that's that's Mando, bro. Let's take a really look. Good. I like that you don't have to use paper clips anymore to pose up his cape either. You know, you can actually. I mean, use the it's it's kind of fun when you get a little creative like that and you start seeing yeah. other influence. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. But this but, is wired, right? Or no? Yeah, it is. Okay, good, good. All this is wired, and it's not yeah. the heaviest, but I feel like it'll do. It okay. will definitely do. Uh, taking a look at articulation for the head. Obviously, you get the whole three sixty. Yep. I'm not gonna go all around it. You get a lot of the tilt here, all the way down. Nice checking the shoes. All the way up. Looking at the clouds. Looking at the clouds. You get a nice confusion. <laughs> confusion. That's a lot, actually. That's a... Yeah, this yeah. guy. Well, he speaks with his body. That's the beauty of That's the true. show, man. That is true. Arms. I'm assuming this is where we're gonna start getting limited because of the fat suit. Fat suit's there. You get a butterfly joint, and let's see how how far we can go. Boom. Not too far. Nice. Yeah, fat suit. Okay. Not too far. Too I don't care. I'll figure it out, man. You know? Yeah. Fat suit time, but whatever. He's also not a Spider-Man, you know? I don't yeah, know. he's not supposed to be jumping off buildings and stuff. I mean, we'll take it if you give it on a show, yeah. but I'm cool with it. Forward, about there. Maybe a little more if you want to. Backwards, about there. Yeah. Still good. Very good. Yeah, that's great. You get a little bit of ratchet movement here. Oh, there you go. Double jointed, limited double by jointed all the way up. Yep. They're not messing around with this one. They're obviously using the same body from the Dura Steel and the Beskar version, right? Um, let's take a look at the legs real quick. Luke hand. Oh, a little crunch time. A little crunch time. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, dang, that's a lot actually. That was yeah. I broke it, and if I didn't, then... <laughs> got a good crunch, man. And then a little, a little bit of like, look at that. Yeah, let's do a little back. Yeah, even back, man. Ooh, girl. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so most of the fat is on the arms then. Okay. Yeah. Let's bring him back in. Do a little bit of leg extensions. We got obviously ratcheted all the way above okay. 90. As you can tell. Yeah, very, very good ratcheted. Um split cup boot. Let's see here. To the sides. Boom. Not a lot of restriction besides the suit, but that's Got really it. good. And let's do a little forward touch. Forward. Nice. Good enough for me. Got the split cut boot, which is very firm. Very, very, very firm, which I like. And okay. all the way back. Oh, not bad. Okay. Looks good. The Velcro pieces do come off, and you can adjust them, I think. Let's do it. Velcroed in. So I like to pose it and then kind of decide where this piece should go because it could kind of go out and in a little more, you know? But there it is. Let's put some poses in this and I'll show it off. I'm ready. Ready, ready. Let's go. And here we have him, guys, after a couple 30 minutes of malfunctions and and then <laughs> working with it. The first pose here with uh, Pedro Pascal with a intimate scene towards the end of season two of Mandalorian. Worth it. Uh, it was really fun actually posing him. I had a, a, a good time. It wasn't too difficult to get him to grasp the little little grogu there but as you can see we put on the snap on oh right there. that's the put it to the side oh for the jetpack with the cape on the, the jetpack yeah so you can take it out it's a magnetic nice. we put in the little blaster there right here we also started dingling the dark saber that he's a proud owner owner now because you know he beat that but, i mean it's a great figure man yeah, i can't really say anything about man dude can't really say anything bad about Batman. I'm oh, Batman. <laughs> it's it's outstanding. And putting the spear, the here, the, the Beskar spear on it, that was yeah, pretty yeah. cool, man. It's it dangles really nicely. I wish they would have put it somewhere more sturdy. Like it's just not dangling. Like maybe on the jetpack, it would have been cooler. Like if it was just yeah. there. I wonder why that would be cool. That. But hey, you get to play around with it a little bit at all. No, once you have it there, it don't really matter. Yeah. Like you can. You can adjust it a little bit, you know, play with it a bit and then put it, start pulling it a little tighter and then that's it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So that that's pretty cool. But overall, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. And also the, it's always having, it's always fun having a, a cape with some wire in it because it just does oh, whatever you want it to. Right? It makes it so, so much, much more dynamic. Yeah. 
And unfortunately, it's always a difficult task for me to remove these right here because it came out with the whole apparatus. And I'm trying to take this out so I can pose it with the helmet, but I can't. Yeah, really? It's just so hard. Like this part right here is just like stuck. And I had the same issue, if you can remember, with, with Boba. Uh, Boba, yeah, yeah. So I do want to add some pressure, but I also don't want to damage the head, you know, the, the, the helmet. So it's kind of like a hard. Are, and are you sure that comes out though? Yeah, it comes out. Yeah. I, I Again, I like, like the Boba. It's supposed to come out so you can display like he's carrying it, you know, but I can't. Yeah. So it's all right. I'm not going to display him like that either way. I'm going to display him with a head scope on. But sorry, with the helmet on because yeah. I really do appreciate this nice Beskar look. So let's put it on, pop it on, and, and see if we can figure out what other poses we can. That's right. All right. Here we have him with the helmet on and a couple of the accessories we got the best scar spear and we got obviously the dark saber which i'm a big fan of and it was quick it's, it's an easy poser it's really fun to mess around with and as you can see like you can do a lot of things with this guy man and i haven't really attached like the magne the magnetic uh jet pack or the really the other accessories <laughs> yeah there's so many things man but that's good. nothing to complain about right yeah yeah I'm trying to move him around so you can get a little view of it. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Obviously, like this is the way he would be looking towards you, right? This is the way. This is the way, bro. I haven't played much with, again, the back of it or the cape. much of the cape. But, I mean, you could do a lot of things with this one. Play with the wind, the way he's moving. I, I really enjoy it. And I think once I get Ahsoka, I might have him like this. And Ahsoka will be also double wielding. I think they'll be pretty cool together. Yeah, man, that 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 one's gonna be a crazy figure. We can compare it to this yeah. Ahsoka, but it's gonna you be need, a nice one. This is at a higher angle too, kind of. Oh yeah, it's just there's yeah, so many things, better, little adjustments that you can make, right? And then if you move the cape, give him a little sense of of motion there, just like that's a flick of the wrist. It's all in the flick of the wrist. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's super easy now. I mean, the wires aren't the strongest or sturdiest, but it's nice that Hot Toys wants to deliver something more than just your basic cape. Yeah. Legit. Super cool. Even a little higher, too. It's such a good figure, dude. I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And honestly, I can't, the paint application here, Hot Toys killed it, man. Out of the park. A little bit on the weathering, heavy on the weathering, but I think I can fix it. I'm going to fix mine for sure. It's like, I'm, I, I know this is not a figure that I would sell. And with what you said, I mean, if it's yes. doable, then I'm I'm going for it. Totally doable. Uh, I'll I'll send you the videos, man. Nice. It looks pretty easy. You just have to be, you know, patient. Yeah. Let's put it on with the whole accessories. The way he's gonna look with the yeah. handle swoop Final bike pose. bar. Yeah, let's do that. Ready. All right, here it is, posed up from that one scene in the I think season two, episode three, whatever. But. This looks so good, man. It wasn't that hard to do. There is a pattern to putting on the, the little latches and each each one. But what do you think, man? Dude, I, I take back everything I said before about not wanting to get the deluxe because this is the pose, the only pose, and I'm going to be forced. This is a good pose for you to be forced to put it's on. It's not a bad pose, man. Honestly, <laughs> oh all God. the poses that Hot Toys kind of makes you stick to, they're not bad poses. No. And again, they chose... Like they, they looked, they saw the show, whoever saw it, right? They saw the show. Yeah. And they were like, this is the pose where he has the most crap. Yeah. How can we, we charge him more? Make. Yeah. And yeah, how can we charge you more? That's actually <laughs> probably a good point. But they put everything on this guy. I mean, dude. he's carrying so much stuff, dude. Everything's here, man. Everything you can imagine, it's on the figure, dude. And do you and think, like, this pose could you put the spear on and could you put the rangefinder thing on and could you put the oh yeah absolutely i just did this i just think like it's already too much man oh it's so much it, it's like you said hey what's up with that christmas tree yeah it's a christmas yeah. tree man and and it could get a little too cluttered you know you can definitely put these things first or you can put the spear but it also it matters if you care chronologically one he didn't have it just got it got it and then Again, dark saver. You can't really hang it. They didn't have it just yet, right? Uh, this he did have, 
which I could definitely kind of put there and it still look kind of cool, I guess, but it's just too much already. <laughs> so much stuff. It's so much stuff. Even even Grogu we decided to put on the ground because the yeah. satchel is kind of thick, like a thick band here. Eh. And I kind of forgot to put him in first. You kind of have to <laughs> yeah, 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 the real reason is that I that's, that's the real reason. But again, <laughs> I think it looks cool just having him on the floor there Not chilling. Him. But hey, yeah. that's it. That was the unboxing of Chrome Mando, the best Mando yet. Raul, you want to get the plastic looking one? Don't be an idiot. You got to get the Chrome one. And just by the picture right here in front of you, I think the Deluxe is the way to go. Man. It looks really good, dude. I, I agree. I think this is the one to get. I do. I'm looking forward to again cleaning them up. I don't yet know, though, if I'll go Deluxe. I, like, you're selling me. <sighs> Just get it, dude. <laughs> Just go for it. Mm, broke. I'm broke, guys. <laughs> uh, right. Our Patreon link is right here. <laughs> well, let us know what here. you think. Did you get the deluxe? Are you going to get the deluxe? Did you go opt out for the non-deluxe? I don't care. I just got it because I feel like at the end of the day, when they sell out, I'll be like, damn, I should have gotten all the extra accessories just because. Yeah, been there. Been there. Let us know what you think. Leave a thumbs up. Follow if you like. Juguetes en caliente live.